Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. Uh, as everyone knows, uh, machinists never make mistakes. Uh, if ever one day we do something we're not too proud of, like I was drilling this little cylindrical part, uh, going a little bit too far with the drill bit, and uh, when I phased the end, I realized I had a hole in it. So, to keep the reputation intact, I had to make this hole disappear in a uh, permanent, rapid, and invisible way. If you bear with me a minute or two for a few announcements I have to make, uh, we'll go to the late and I'll show you how I keep the reputation intact. Yesterday, Philip and I went to the post office. We mailed the first batch of uh, orders we got for the What's in Your Box Hammers. Uh, we really want to thank you guys for the uh, overwhelming response we had for the, uh, for the, the, the cause and uh, just helping us by uh, you know, buying uh, buying a few hammers, it's uh, helping the cause because uh, it will help us to uh, cover some of the cost of it, and also uh, a little bit of money left will help uh, Philip's channel and my channel to uh, keep afloat and uh, help us producing uh, videos for you guys. And uh, if you want something, just uh, say so. If there's something you like, something you dislike, uh, I mean the uh, the comment box in you know, the uh, the comment section in there is the place to. Uh, the place to go and uh, we'll be happy to hear about you also uh, we got a few hammers left so uh, anyone interested in to uh, ordering one uh, I'll leave my uh, email address down there and I'll send you the information uh, you need to order as fast as possible so thank you thank you so much so far and uh, let's go to late okay now I just uh, finished surfacing that little uh, nub here and I realized that uh, I got a little pinhole in there. This is done to uh, drilling the uh, inside hole too deep. So I got uh, a few solutions to fix this. The one I uh, retained is uh, I'm going to center drill this a little bit. Make this uh, make a clean entry for a drill after. not very much bigger than this that will be more than sufficient uh, for this I'll be using uh, 242 thousandths uh, drill bit to eventually insert the uh, little piece of one quarter of an inch uh, stainless steel rod here same, uh, same material as the uh, base material so let me just uh, drill this. I'm going to drill about uh, maybe a little bit, 200 thousandths, or uh, that should be plenty enough. Okay, next step is uh, since my bar is a quarter of an inch, the reamer is one thousand undersized, which is a let's say a 249 thousandths so it gives me a 1000 press press fit uh, eventually so let's uh, get this in let's not push too far in there and next step okay I made sure the end was uh, the end was pretty well deburred made just a little chamfer with the uh, the grinding stone and uh, this is going to be pushed in okay I'll be using the tail stock chuck lock my tail stock and uh, it's loose in there it will start turning as soon as it touches and I'm using the tail stock to just uh, pressure it in I feel pretty much pressure in there that's a that's a good sign that not that not coming off to uh, finish up the job now I'll be using a little parting blade I'm gonna give myself maybe ten thousandths or so that doesn't need very much 
There we go. A little bit of cutting oil. This is clean. Okay, let's finish this up now. Best way I find is to uh, get rid of the most of the, the bulk of the uh, material without doing the finishing pass right away. This is very close from finish part and let's do a fi an overall an overall finish on this. There we go. I'm, I'm only getting maybe a thousand, maybe two. That's more than it needs to uh, finish this up. That's about the uh, most invisible repair you can get. Same material, pressed in, very tight. Let's stop this. I'll give you a closer, uh, oops, the other way. Closer look. You'd be very smart to tell where the uh, exact cut is. And just to make even more uh, obvious that the repair is good, let me get this out of there. Let's do a little polishing on this. In fact, it's more a brushing. There we go. First pass, 80 grit paper. Second pass. 150 grit paper. And last part. 220 grit paper. Even it's pretty worn up, but it'll even give a finer finish. Oops, that's coming back towards the center. There you go, if you can tell the difference. I mean, you got better eyes than this camera.